Louis Vuitton. He influences everybody today. Stephen and I met when we moved into this building. At the time, Debbie Harry was living in the building, and Stephen moved into the building in the second floor. So it became sort of a very rock and roll building. When he did a show here, it was always a concert. It was always a musical venture. The music was loud. The Altic Lansing speakers were bigger than the biggest you could get. I was going to drown you out. It was um, sweaty, hot, electric. The girls were real people. The casting was what he liked, not what an agency was pushing. It was definitely a one man's signature. Looking at his hands was fascinating for me because they had content of everything, you know? The way he drew his markers, you know, took numbers on his skin. Everything about that was very hands-on, very raw. It was his signature. He didn't follow anyone's trend. That marriage was wonderful. You know, two boys, two fun boys, two cre extremely creative and special boys. I mean, they were the spe they are the special boys of New York. And that was the beauty of that. It was two great Americans in Paris using the luxury of the Paris manufacturing and the house of Vuitton and bringing it into like, here you go. We're gonna have some fun with you. <laughs>